To boost your FPS or overall system performance with BIOS settings on the Gigabyte Z790 Gaming A XAX motherboard, first thing that we're gonna tackle, tackle is uh, XMP. So uh, enter BIOS by uh, resetting your PC and keep clicking on the delete button on your keyboard until you can see a screen like this. Uh, when you enter it, just go for a easy mode uh, first and uh, then on the bottom left corner you can find XMP profile. You can then put it on XMP1 or if you have other profiles you can also uh, change to them and uh, this should uh, boost your FPS by a lot and overall, overall system performance as well. Uh, what it does, it allows uh, your RAM to use its uh, maximum power instead of uh, the lower p powers lo lower clock ratios and etc so uh, i strongly recommend to enable it to boost your fps next step uh, will be uh, two settings uh, that are needed to be uh, toggled together to work together so i will count them as uh, two options we have resizable bar support resize bar support and above 4G decoding. You can uh, usually find it in easy mode right here. Alternatively, if you cannot find it, go to advanced mode, cl click on the settings and select IO ports where you can find resize bar support. Uh, then there's above 4G decoding to activate resize bar support. It needs to be active, otherwise uh, it won't work. So make sure that uh, the, those settings are enabled. And what they do is if you go for resize uh, bar support, it lets your CPU access full VRAM of your GPU virtual RAM and uh, it uh, will be it should be supported by most of the new uh, GPUs that you can find on the market uh, and above 4G decoding uh, is uh, required uh, by resize bar support to work Other, otherwise if you do not activate above 4G decoding resize bar support won't work and it also helps uh, with multi GPU and large memory mapping stability so those settings should boost your uh, performance a bit Next thing uh, will be a bit risky. So if you don't want to do it, you shouldn't. And um, it may break your PC, so uh, do it as your with your own consciousness. So what we need to go do is go to advanced mode, select a tweaker, then go for advanced CPU settings. And now uh, when we scroll almost all the way down, we should be able to find the turbo power limit. And uh, there's the package power limit one, TDP watts and uh, package power limit 2 uh, right here. I have it set on uh, 200 and 253. I recommend to boost it to 200 right here and uh, slightly above right here. So go for something like I have. But uh, as I said, it's a bit risky if you uh, monitor your temperatures, if they start to rise down into dangerous levels like 100 Celsius. Uh, then I recommend to just revert it back. All you have to do is go to easy mode right here and load the default settings. Next thing uh, will be a uh, fan performance. So uh, depending on your PC build, build if you have a proper uh, air conditioning, let's say in your PC, uh, you have a lot of fans installed and etc. then you should be okay. But um, make sure to always monitor your temperatures. If they rise too high, your performance will be less uh, performable, let's say. I don't, I don't I, sorry, uh, your performance will just uh, be lackluster. So uh, what I recommend to do is go for your uh, Smart Fan 6. You can, if you have new uh, Gigabyte uh, motherboard, you also should be able to do it with on PC with the Gigabyte uh, app. And uh, if you don't know how to do it, let me down in the comments. I will try to explain that uh, in the next video and I will link it to your comment. So anyway, uh, here in the temperatures, uh, you can uh, toggle them around. You can uh, go for the CPU fan speed silent. In this case, I'm actually going to go for a full speed right here. Uh, CPU opt if you're using water cooling. The system fans, no matter how many you have installed, you can change their speeds right here. So I recommend to just go for a temperatures uh, below uh, something like uh, 70 or 60 when gaming. Uh, so I would just uh, go for uh, auto controls for each of the speed limits right here. And uh, then it should uh, apply the proper uh, air conditioning to your hardware. And uh, that is basically each and every settings that I recommend to toggle around in your BIOS. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing.